talking mayhem mania the hot hot hottest show on the interwebs i am your game master or head booker or whatever you want to call me week by week my title changes but the duties are still the same i'm chad the shad we are bringing here uh, actually we brought in mr mainstream matt and mad mike uh, i don't know if we have uh you'll see you can hear them you may see them uh uh, oh, yeah, later. I think Sorg needs to get. Oh no, there we go. I, I, I have high hope there that we'll be seen tonight. It's it's a pleasure to be here as always. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad to um not be in a situation where I'm fearful for my life. It was tense in the studio this evening with mm -hmm. uh, Lebanon Dawn and Tito Ordic. <clears throat> Did we have hurt feelings tonight? Um, mm, kind of. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Did someone not? Did someone not understand the assignment? To paraphrase one of the phrases the kids are saying these days. Um, oh no, I, I'm I'm checking some things. Uh, I understood the assignment. Right? I'll tell you who uh, didn't understand the assignment. Ronnie. Yeah. Mm. Ronnie uh, did he, not. Uh, he Ronnie, not Ronnie, Ronnie went to find out who Ghostface was. Yeah, and uh, he did not make it to fulfill his Alex Carr's rule uh, duties. Wow. This evening, prior commitments, uh, we will God see. His priorities happens. are all in the wrong place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let him bank it, or are you going to? Is it? Is it gone? It's to be determined. Oh, I love it. Leave but him but to Matt, be Dad, Matt, make him earn it. You will be happy to know that I enforced my own brand of punishment and took out Ronnie's match. <laughs> yeah. It, it's only right. It's only it's it's, mm -hmm. it's it's street justice on Mayhem Mania. So that's <laughs> it's really not, the way things it's go. Damn near vigilantism. It's damn it's and basically anarchy. So, and to make things uh, interesting later on, I've been thinking about some very creative things to do for the Rumble to hand out either some punishments or some some extra things to do more than just regular predictions and whatnot. We may maybe we assign players a certain. Uh, a certain wrestler or a certain number, whatever ever comes in, we'll yeah. see how long they last. I, I love pick, that. If you get a guy who lasts the whole match or who will last longer than everybody else, maybe you get uh, a prize or something. How, how about this? I mean, I, I didn't come in here with any preconceived ideas, but but just this, just the energy of this conversation has my creative juices already churning right now. What if we did a, a bit where um, whoever, wh whatever number entrant wins that rumble, that if the corresponding cell number in Space Jail matches up, that that person is freed from Space Jail. That could be a fun, fun little gimmick. It wouldn't that, make anybody feel good about themselves, but it would be a thing that would happen. It, it would be a negative to attach to a potential positive, which I'm always for. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. You know, it's like, it's good to have oh, the yeah, it's great. The feeling. Yeah. He won. Your guy won. So-and-so got a Space Jail. How do yeah. you feel about yourself? Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Space Jail. Mm -hmm. um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, Miro posted bail this evening. Good. And I use it in, in that terminology very specifically. So. Uh, there, there was no spin. There was no spin. He posted oh. bail. Oh, no. Did the, did the Lebanon Don bring, bring, bring his wad of cash with him to the, uh, proceedings tonight? There may have been some wire transfers. Uh, wire transfers. You know what? Well, Chad, let's not forget the number one priority of Mayhem Mania is to make Sorgatron Media a, just a boatload of cash. So well, um, let, let's not lose sight of that uh, that directive. Well, why don't we just go right in and I'm going to tell you a match. <laughs> and are you going to do the guess game here? Let me get before. I we... have a feeling I'll be able to figure it out, but let's play this game. I love okay, this game. We'll, get, we'll play the guess. So I don't, I don't want to give any, any uh, names away. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's go right off the bat here. We had a wrestler replacement. Sami Zayn was stricken from his match and replaced by Seth freaking Rollins. Mm. So it's Seth freaking Rollins and Kevin Owens versus the Usos. Mm. Very much on the nose. Um, was it that, uh, w w did that Tito guy do that one? Was it that Tito guy did that? No. 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 Wow. Okay. Good job. 
No. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Tell me. Who did it? Who did this? Mad Mike. That was uh, me. Oh, break it that up. That was me. Jamie and Kevin. Hey, mm. you know what? I, I, I appreciate the friendship that, uh, that, that Kevin and Seth have. And plus, that was Ronnie's match. So, yeah. yeah. You know. Mad, Mad Mike, you've been a tough one to track this year. I've, I've had a hard time um you know dialing in on uh where you're making your moves so you've been very unpredictable this year i'm trying i'm trying to switch it up a little bit. yeah I'm trying to you're switch doing a good up. job you're doing a good job so our next one was also a uh wrestler replacement uh roderick strong is out of his match and Corey graves newly newly cleared for contact Corey <laughs> graves versus elias mm. Uh, feels like Sorgatron, but you never know. A lot, a lot of, a lot of locals are on the uh, show, but I, I'll go with the, uh, the, the traditional Sorgatron. Did, did he even play tonight? That, Sorg that, that, that did. Sorg. Yeah, he uh, altered his own match. Good. <laughs> no, Matt. Good. Matt, I have a question. Like, like Cause... Sorgatron does not understand the assignment. Just to be clear on Matt, that, he was like, I've, I've, he I've likes to hurt himself. He's yeah, a, to be fair. Go ahead. We were all very flustered this round of mayhem. mayhem. Right. Um, is that the first time in the history of this um, uh, uh, this competitive thought experiment mm -hmm. that someone has altered their own match? Probably not. Really, that's a lot of history to go back through. I, I, I feel I like I feel like, like that's it's the first. happened before. I feel but, like that's the first. I don't know. You know, you you you've left me no choice but to someday look into it. I won't say <laughs> when. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, I'll think see. about looking into it someday. <laughs> we do have a we do have a lengthy uh, uh, database of records that we can go through. So we'll see. Maybe later on. True. Um, next match here, the big old battle royal match here with all the you know all the special characters here on night two. Uh, that was eliminated entirely. <clears throat> I worked and so hard on place, that graphic. Yeah. It took me all night. No, you know, they were hurting somebody's feeling. Oh, so in its Garza, place, I feel you. Right. Uh, Matt Cardona versus John Moxley versus Darby Allen. Okay. All right. That's nice. I like to see Matt Cardona in there. Good job by there. I mm -hmm. like that. Do you know who, uh, who put that one together? Who put that one together? Wow, that is a little bit... Uh, the veteran. We'll just different. Say oh, was it Brandon? Did Brandon phone that one in? Yes. Oh, yes. Good job. Yeah, All right. right. Good call. Good job, Brandon. I like your match. I like your match. Okay. I like where your head's at. For the WWE night, the four horsewomen and the Hurt Business was eliminated. Oh. I'm very upset know, by this. Cursed from the start. Cursed from the start. In its place was a match added uh you might be able to figure this one out man. Mm -hmm. yeah iron Sheik versus muhammad hassan versus tito Oric versus miro that might be tito Oric who made that one in a uh camel clutch match fuck the rules chad i distinctly remember that we were going to come up with some sort of guidelines for the booking of oneself during this mayhem mania, because we understood going in, Matt, the, there uh, were the potential pitfalls that awaited us. There were we a lot of all zeros. of these local indie wrestlers looking for one moment in the sun. There were a lot yeah. of zeros attached to this uh, pick. Yeah. Fair enough. All so, right, I understand. Great and, uh, move. A lot of, lot of zeros. Uh, Matt, swayed. Matt, I even got some zeros, and I have nothing to do with the booking of the match. I, I just agreed it was great. Yeah, there was a blanket. Mm -hmm. like, well, you know, Tito, raid. Tito, Ork, Oric, Ork, 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 Orca, Tito, Orca, or whatever your name is. Uh, oh send oh. your, send your very easily to um, Photoshop JPEG image to guitars <laughs> at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com. Don't make me search the internet for it. I, I, I think Sork could probably. Have he was that. threatening. He did threaten Sork at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. physically. Yeah, um, we actually don't know who Sork is. Yeah. But, I and collecting. I assume he's collecting the bag as we speak. Uh, he might be collecting I, some hands. <laughs> yeah. 
But uh, the next match was uh, Braun Breaker versus Wardlow, sponsored by Spirit Airlines in a turbulence match. Funded. Uh, it was time. funded, Matt. Very funded. I mean, the Lebanon for Don. For my family safety. If, if he's going to pony up for a match, he might as well make it a good one. I like the sound of that one. So uh, As soon as you get up high in the air, he goes, bing boom, and the match <laughs> has to finish before the plane lands. <laughs> How long is the flight? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a descent from from there, so it's probably oh. well then. You know, it's it's a relatively a TV. We'll say a TV regular TV time match. It's one and, of those special and, and track sword cards. says or TV time remaining or, or, or flight time remaining. <laughs> it or, was a, sword did say that the uh, the chairs at Spirit Airlines are hard as benches. So, and specifically That's the hardest part of the plane. Whenever they start the Spirit, <laughs> <or get laughs> Spirit Airlines plane was chosen specifically, not Delta. Not it had to be booked mm -hmm. through Spirit. Mm -hmm. so. not proud of some of these decisions this evening but we're all a little richer because of them you know what chad we're all tested at one point or another whenever we um go through this exercise that is mayhem mania you must stay strong and vigilant you must hold your standards unless you don't have any standards in which case do whatever you want um but well, as, i did as keep always, the cards that i did keep the cards at six matches a piece well good job no, by you. No, wait i have a question uh did the limit on did the Lebanon Don actually get rid of any match? Um, or or like like what like no because because that's a that's a WWE versus other match. So what night is that going on? Or well, does there it was a match eliminated from each card. Uh, okay. uh, he he put that on the uh, night two. I believe he okay. did say as a night two. Okay. I mean, you can always change Braun Breaker. He can be you know Stephen Steinmar. Something like that. <laughs> Scotty to Steinmer. I mean, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> Ragnarok, Ragnarok Breaker. Something. Do you know his dad wrestled? Rick yes. Breaker. Rick Breaker Rick, was quite Rick, a wrestler wow. back in the day, from wow. what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of minors in that family. Not a, it was not like an electrician, a family of electricians, the breakers were. <laughs> the breakers, yeah. <laughs> the breakers. Yeah. They always blew, you know. I'm looking forward blew. to a reality show. I want to see a reality show with the breakers. The breakers. Ron and Rick <laughs> and Scott. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was an interesting show, Hey, don't show, speak Matt. too loud. NXT might hear you. NXT, NXT can't just... hurt me anymore. <laughs> NXT is already sunk into the lowest of the lows. I feel like I'm serving a prison sentence some of these Tuesday nights whenever I'm sitting here with NXT. It's, uh, mm. Boy, boy, it, it went straight for the heart today. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. But Mayhem Mania is here to fulfill you and pick you back up. The in deeper... whatever way that is. Because some... <laughs> the deeper right. things go... For WWE, and hey, for this year, the deeper things go for pro wrestling in general. That's where we're stepping in to lift you up, to raise your spirits, and dream about what might be, but probably never will, mm -hmm. because these people don't know anything. But looking ahead, that was the completion of week four, and we do have the Royal Rumble coming up here. And as a Royal Rumble bonus winner in the past... Uh, I know how important those can be for the game of Mayhem Mania. So uh, we have been thinking, and this year we want to do something, you know, a little crazy, a little bit, uh, you know, since it's a two-night, let's get a little, uh, let's flesh some things out here. Let's have some some different uh, different prizes, some punishments, some, some all kinds of stuff. Uh, make watching the Rumble very fun uh, throughout. And, uh, you know, maybe we will do the... Uh, uh, you know, Mayhem Mania participants get assigned a number. And that's your number for the men's rumble. That's your number for the women's rumble. And if your number lasts longer than anybody else's number, you get a prize. If your number is shorter than everybody else's number, you get punishment. Oh boy, I love all these ideas. Oh, so as long as, and uh, we will we'll make sure. Like if somebody go ahead, hey, I'm going to be number one. 
or they say something stupid like I'm number 30 and it comes out, we won't assign anybody then because they're going to be last or we'll keep it randomized. Number 30 never wins. Has number 30 ever won? Mad Mike would know. Has number 30 ever won? Yeah. Many, yeah. many times. How many times? Like two or three at least. Two or Who three? That? Who? Yeah. One, um, 20... uh, Jonathan Cena was one of them. Was he the last man? Yeah, he was the last man. Triple H okay. was 29. Cena was 30. Okay. Um, I Wait, under, did Undertaker, the Undertaker do it? Did he do it one time? Yeah, the Undertaker was one. Oh, um, two times. I want to say, oh, God. 28's never won one, I don't think, right? No, I think 28 has won. There's a late number that has never won. It, it, or it might be 28 then. But, There's um, certainly a Wikipedia article that can fill us in on yeah. this. It's we'll, more we'll fun to try to it. remember off the top of our heads. I know, Edge came in 29 the, the first time he won it. Um, I believe Batista was last that year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I know that I, I know those. I know Cena and Undertaker definitely. I feel like um, that's the Cena Todd, uh, the one at MSG, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what well, we I, that at, makes right? sense. Right? We that was out. actually back to back years that Cena. Oh, and Triple H won from thirty. We were at that, Cena, really? that Cena one, correct, Mike? Oh, he did win yeah, that we were one at, time. Yeah, we were at the Cena one. one. With Roman. You're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. yeah, so Cena, Taker, and Triple H all won from 30. Well, under And Becky Lynch, all of if, them. We're, if we're counting women's rumbles, Becky Lynch and Batista have won at 28. Mm. Um, oh. Yeah, and 20, so I think 26 is the late number that no one's won from. These stats are correct. Which they appear to be. I'm sure uh, we'll take a look at some of those and yeah, because Oscar won at 25, Hogan won at 25, 27 is how a lot of winners. Yeah, uh, no one's won from 26. Also, Brock Lesnar won at 2019. Huh. Huh. Yeah, so so no one's won at entrant number 26. So this could be the year. Sounds like a good number to assign somebody. Mm hmm. Very nice. Then we, we what you usually do like predictions and match time, correct? Like with the other matches, or most eliminations uh, in the in the past. Yeah, we'll do some fun stuff. Yeah, most eliminations. Uh, my my favorite time. one. My favorite one we've ever done was when uh, Kevin Owens fought Goldberg at like Fastlane in like a Universal Title match, and we made people predict the total match time. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, <laughs> I think we made him do. Total time without going over, too. There was like coming in at like 45 seconds. Yeah. The old price is right rules. <laughs> yeah. Correct really, without going uh, over. Really uh, raised the degree of difficulty on that one. That was a tough one. Another one me, uh, me and a couple of friends also play sometimes uh, is who has the longest entrance of the evening? Oh, in the Rumble? No, just like in a just regular period. Paper -view. Like I usually do like WrestleMania, like who will have the longest entrance? Who's it going to be? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, so as long most as of the time it was the, Undertaker. Uh, if Undertaker was on the card, a lot of people were like, "Well, it's going to be the Undertaker. It's going to be the Undertaker." I mean, I like, I, I, I can think of a few that is, you know, uh, Randy, Randy Orton has been known Roman, to be a Roman, slow Roman walker. Scre Roman's creeping Roman up. Roman Reigns would uh, be a good pick for that one too. Definitely. Randy has won has won it before, and so has Roman now because Roman's is really long. Roman's like, yeah. It, it, Deliberately Undertaker long entrance now. So. Well, it's his yard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but Randy, Randy has yeah. won it, but it's always fun. Like who has who will have the shortest entrance of the stuff like that? That is outside of the Rumble. Like you some young lion, around. some yeah. young lion sprinting to the ring in mm -hmm. his black trunks. Yeah. <laughs> no, we could do that too. Who colored gear? I, I like shortest entrance. That's a that's a that's a fun one because I think Ben Mike's right. I think Roman Reigns is a slam dunk for longest entrance. Shortest entrance, that's that's very intriguing. So yeah, so we'll see. But that's what we have in store. That's coming down the pipeline for the many weeks left here. I believe uh, Royal Rumble is in two weeks from. Uh, it's a week from it's a week from Saturday. A week from Saturday. 
Yes. So uh, next it's week, a it's, it's really it's only about a week away. Yeah, it's on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, next week. week. Next week is our go home show for the Rumble. Excellent, excellent. So we will think about those different uh, stipulations and prizes and punishments and all that, and we'll have them ready to go the week before the Rumble. So we'll organize all that, have a grand old time. Then we can really start getting into the meat and potatoes of Mayhem Mania. Mm -hmm. So uh, speaking for Mad Mike and Mainstream Matt, I am Chad the Shad signing off of Talking Mayhem Mania. Thank you and good evening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.